Hi, I'm Daniel Shabbat. I'm a student of Dr. Amir Hamedi at the Hebrew University. We're here at the President's Conference. And uh, this is Shlomi Anasi. He's a developer of uh, this device. And it's a device that can send visual information in the form of vibrations. So uh, we're working on the topic of sensory substitution, how it's possible to send visual information in the form of sound or in the form of touch. And the amazing thing is how the brain of someone who's born blind will impact will react to this information. Basically, we see that it's all the visual parts of the brain that become activated when someone who's born blind learns to use these devices. So if you hold this device, uh, you can detect where Shlemy is standing with the vibration. So you can see that the closer he is to you, the more it vibrates, and the further away you are from him, then uh, the less it's going to vibrate. So if you put on this blindfold, we'll be able to try some tests with you. Okay. For example, let's try to see if you can see where Shlemy is standing. Can you point to him? That's right, that's where he is. So now I'll ask you to come to uh, this wall and just try to find uh, your way out of this corridor. There's an exit to your right. I'd like you to try and find it. So you can use this device like this by scanning the environment around you. And then when you feel something, so here's the wall. Right? And if you scan it, and as you walk along the wall, you'll be able to find the opening. So you don't forget to scan the environment around you. And so here's the wall, right? You feel the wall. Uh -huh. And at one point, if you, there will be an opening on this side of the wall. So there's the wall. I'm here. Now I'm going to want you to try to find the opening in the wall. Oh, so you see that there there's nothing, right? So if you, if you use the device to scan along the wall, you'll see that you'll be able to detect the edge. Where's the edge of the wall? That's right. So now if you try to find the exit, to, uh, to this corridor, you just have to try to see where there's no vibration. And that'll mean that there's no object. That's right, that's the opening and you can find your way out from here. So if you come this way, now we'll tr let's try to see if you can detect, uh, try to find the cameraman that's uh, standing here. So try to scan around you, that's me. That's cute. <laughs> and if you continue scanning around, there, there you go. So you see that you can detect objects, detect openings, find your way out of a, a building using this device. And the most amazing thing is, as I said, is how the visual brain reacts in someone who's congenitally blind to this device. Basi basically, someone who's born blind who's using this device uh, is recruiting all the visual areas of the brain to do this. So they're really seeing through their fingers. They're seeing through sound when they're using the sensory substitution device that translates images into sound. You can take off the blindfold now if you like. So uh, this is how these devices uh, work and we hope to be able to uh, improve the lives of blind people through devices like this. And actually it's the dream of my supervisor, Dr. Amir Hamedi, to be able to distribute this device to every single blind person in Israel and eventually in the world to help improve uh, their quality of life. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you for listening.